Widely known as Australia's icon, the koala bear has been loved by many, and how can they not? With their bear-like features and cuddly appearance, they became a local favorite to the public. But there's more to them than meets the eye. Lucky for you viewers, our topic for today's video concerns unique facts about koalas. So if you want to know more about these fuzzy creatures, stay tuned. And before we get right into it, kindly give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on so you won't miss out on any of our new releases. Introduction to Koalas, Australia's iconic figure. The koala is a type of mammal that's native to Australia, specifically around southeastern and eastern regions coasts in the tall eucalyptus forests and low eucalyptus woodlands. Naturally, they're found in wild regions of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. Known scientifically as Pascolarctus cenarius, they grow up to the size of 23.5 to 33.5 inches and can weigh up to 20 pounds. The average lifespan of these herbivores is 20 years, but sadly due to several threats, their population is decreasing at an alarming rate. Despite looking fuzzy, their fur is not actually soft but rather coarse like sheep wool, which they comb by using their two toes that are fused. Another notable feature about this animal is that they have two opposing thumbs on their hands, and both their feet and hands have rough pads and claws to grab onto branches. All about koalas' diet, behavior, and habitat. So we already established that koalas are herbivores, but they don't eat just any random plant or leaves out there. Koalas specifically eat eucalyptus leaves, hence why they're located in the eucalyptus forests of southeastern and eastern Australia. They're heavily dependent on the eucalyptus trees for habitat and food. Eucalyptus leaves are toxic to most animals, but not to these fuzzy creatures. Their digestive system is specially adjusted for the digestion of these leaves, but as a result, they sleep most of the time since the leaves also provide little nutritional value to their diet. Speaking of sleep, they sleep for an average of 18 to 22 hours per day. Koalas are nocturnal animals, which makes them active at night, but at times we can see them chewing a leaf or two during the daytime. They're not bears. Despite being endearingly called bears, koalas are not bears, nor are they related to bears. Koalas are marsupials, meaning they carry their young, or joeys, in small pouches built in their bodies, similar to kangaroos, wombats, and quokkas. Koalas have five fingerprints that are almost identical to humans. If you didn't know, now you do. A koala's fingerprint is visually identical to a human being's, which made scientists believe that we once shared a common ancestor with these sleepy creatures. Koalas also share similarly shaped palms with ridges, just like that of humans, with the only main difference being that they have warts, similar to dog's paws, which tend to be organized in streams similar to sets of parallel ridges. Koalas are picky with their food. We said before that they eat eucalyptus leaves, but they're actually picky on what type of eucalyptus they eat. Eucalyptus is highly toxic to animals, so koalas' digestive systems have to work really hard to break down the leaves' toxins and extract the limited nutrients. Because their food consistently became toxic over the millennia, the animals' digestive tracts also adjusted to it. There are over 700 eucalyptus leaves in the wild, with our adorable friend eating only around 40 to 50 of the eucalyptus species, since they're not able to digest all of the species of eucalyptus. They also pick the topmost leaves of the tallest trees, which contain most of the nutrients. But did you know koalas sometimes eat dirt, presumably to obtain some required minerals they can't get from eating eucalyptus leaves? Or maybe because it helps them digest it better. They don't drink water. Usually, they don't drink water as much as other animals, since feeding on eucalyptus leaves provides them the moisture they need for their body. However, there are instances when a koala will willingly drink water if the moisture from the leaves is not enough, and most especially during drought and heat waves brought about by this phenomenon. Koalas can be more aggressive than crocodiles. Back in 2006, four people broke into an Australian zoo in the hope of snatching a koala and selling it for drugs. This unusual but somewhat funny incident took place in Queensland when Rockhampton police got tipped by someone saying they had a crocodile in their possession. The police came to the zoo, checked out our exhibit, and we were down a female freshwater crocodile, said Tom Wyatt at Rockhampton City Council. The crocodile was 1.2 meters long and got dragged off over a 2.4 meter fence by the thieves. Apparently, the crocodile was not their target at all. The thieves originally planned to nab a koala, but changed targets once they couldn't take a hold of it, as shared by the zookeeper Will Kemp. The original plan was to steal a koala. That's what they were going to use to swap for the drugs, he said. But apparently, the koala scratched them. The blokes have quite a lot of scratches and lacerations caused by the koala, Kemp said in his statement. They have ridiculously small brains. Back in 1929, researchers Frederick Wood Jones and Stanley D. Porteous described the koala's brain as ridiculously small. The two researched and published a study on comparative brain sizes in the animal kingdom. Their findings showed that koalas had a brain size 60% smaller than predicted for a marsupial 
ideal of its size and that their brains were smooth. A smooth brain is indicative of little to no folding, a development found in more advanced animals. They account for the brain's quick growth to the skull containing it. The skull may not continue to grow on an evolutionary level as quickly as the brain. To put it in layman's terms, humans have relatively larger brains and more brain folds than any other species, and it's linked to our intelligence as a species. The smoothness of the koala's brain is more indicative of the behaviors they exhibit. Koalas haven't needed to learn more behaviors for the last 15 million years. Joeys eat their mom's feces. Like we said earlier, the eucalyptus leaves lack nutrients despite it being the koala's main source of energy. As a result, joeys are forced to rely on their mother for nourishment, wherein they take a special type of creamy substance called pap. PAP is made from a special mixture of gut bacteria and feces that's vital to a joey's development. Caroline Monroe, a professional koala keeper, described a joey's feeding time as a messy process. It can look really disgusting because the joeys use their mouth to stimulate the mother's cloaca to produce the PAP, and it's quite wet. It gets everywhere. They make an interesting noise. By interesting, we mean to say they don't sound all cute. A koala's call can be described as a sickening cry like a scream of a baby when they're upset. Alternatively, males create a deep bellow followed by a sequence of choppy clicks. This deep guttural sound is made primarily by males trying to call the attention of potential mates during mating season or when intimidating other males. This kind of sound is not common for their size, since this frequency is more akin to an elephant's call. But a koala has a descended larynx, meaning their vocal boxes are relatively lower in their bodies compared to other animals. Their descended larynx extends their vocal tracts, allowing them to create a baritone sound. The resonance is then further amplified by cavities in their noses and mouths. They're plagued by a highly infectious disease. Aside from facing the loss of habitat, the koalas are also being plagued by a highly infectious disease among their kind. Chlamydia has been ravaging these poor creatures' populations in recent years. According to David Wilson, professor of infectious disease at the Burnett Institute in Melbourne, about half of the koala's population in Australia is infected, he shared in BBC News. The chlamydia that is plaguing these creatures is quite different from human disease, but koalas can transmit this disease to humans once they come in contact. And it's quite a common activity for koalas to pee on humans as well. The effects of chlamydia on koalas are quite painful and can cause blindness, infertility, and an infection known as dirty tail. A dirty tail is a common name for a vicious inflammation of their urinary tract, which is quite painful and also fatal for some. Scientists have been trying their best to cure this disease, but the koala's hypersensitive gut microbiome and hypervigilant digestive system have made the disease incurable. As a result, many of the medicines they use to treat chlamydia on koalas have been ineffective and flushed out of their system as if it was poison from the eucalyptus they eat. Koalas are facing the greatest threats of their species today. Koalas have been listed on the endangered list, with their numbers decreasing at an alarming rate due to deforestation and disease. From late 2019 to 2020, Australia has suffered its most ravaging bushfires as of yet that affected almost 3 billion animals in the country, which pushed the koalas almost to the brink of extinction. More than 61,000 koalas were affected by the bushfire, which affected 3 billion animals that included 2.46 billion reptiles. In a report released by the New South Wales Parliament in June 2020, the fires destroyed 24% of koala habitat on public lands. As a result, the Australian government has included them on the list of 113 animals that require urgent help. The Animal Kingdom Foundation, AKF, estimates that there are likely to be less than 80,000 koalas remaining in Australia today, and it could be as low as 47,860 with much of their habitat already lost. And with that, we're concluding today's topic of unique facts about koalas. We hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel with the notifications turned on for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you again next time.